everyone, I'm the Nerdy Plane. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to run Medieval 2 Total War in Windows 10. Now, um, if you have already tried running the disk version, um, because that is what doesn't work in Windows 10, uh, you launch it and then you'll get kind of like a bing, uh, and it'll say, uh, please try and run this in Administrator. Um, something like that just to try again in administrator even if you try that it doesn't work trying to run it in compatibility uh, doesn't work either uh, the actual fix uh, will require you to download um, a game platform called Steam um, so if you don't know what it is it's just basically somewhere where companies upload their games to Steam and you can download the games digitally now if you've got your disc and the box of Medieval 2 Total War um, you won't need to buy the version of Medieval 2 Total War on Steam. Um, but anyway, I'll just show you where to download Steam from now. So you're going to want to open up um, your web browser and type in store, if you spell it right, store.steampowered, store.steampowered.com. Um, and you'll go here. And now I am at the Steam web page. Uh, you're then going to want to go to install Steam. And obviously because this is a Windows tutorial, you're probably using Windows. So it will say install now, also available for Mac and Linux. So just click on the install now um, and it will download Steam. Um, once it's finished downloading, you're then going to want to run that file, which will install Steam onto your computer. Uh, once that's ready, you should see the icon pop up here. Um, so you're going to want to then launch Steam. And it will take you to something that looks kind of like this. Uh, from here, you're going to want to either head over to Games in the top left corner. And then activate a product on Steam. Or, in this bottom left corner, add game and then activate a product on Steam. Either one you do, it will be the same. It will always take you to this page. Um, it tells you about what activating the product does. So it says enter the product code distributed with a retail CD, DVD or other Steam product here. Click on next. Um, I've already read the agreement here. The agreement that you always need to agree to that Steam gives you for um, getting the game for activating a product. Uh, so agree to that. And then it will bring you to the product activation page. Um, so the code that you're going to want to need um, is in your box for medieval 2 total war uh, open it up and it should be in the manual on the back um, for me there's a little advert of a different game on the back of the manual uh, and then right at the bottom it says medieval 2 total war key code uh, you're just going to want to type that in um, with the uh, hyphens the dashes um, you're going to want to use all of those uh, once it's gone it should give you this next option uh, so click on next and it will then say medieval 2 total war you're just going to want to download and install that uh, actually no no installing it does that automatically so just download that um, and then once it's done you can close steam up and everything now it's quite a big download and with our terrible internet speed that we have here um, it takes ages it took a few days actually um, but don't worry, you can switch your computer off, you can close Steam and shut down and everything. It pauses the downloads automatically and then restarts next time you launch Steam. But anyway, once you've um, downloaded the Medieval 2 Total War and it's finished, you will see this um, Medieval 2 Total War. And it also says Steam colon forward slash wrong game ID forward slash 4700 um, when you hover over it. So then you can launch Medieval 2 Total War like how you like how you would launch any other game and Medieval 2 Total War will then be ready to play. Um, once you've done this, um, the CD code will not be usable again on Steam for anyone else. Um, but that's pretty much the only thing that I have to mention. Uh, so now just enjoy your Medieval 2 Total War game that is now running on Windows 10. Don't forget to like this video, um, please subscribe, and if you have any comments, uh, 
like questions or just thanking me then you can put them in the comments section um but for now i hope i'll see you in another video